In this video, we would cover the fifth chapter of PM Bach 5.0, that is, Project Scope Management. In this chapter, first we would learn the definition and the objective of scope management, then we would cover the processes within this knowledge area, which are plan scope management, collect requirements, define scope, create WBS, validate scope and control scope. This is the same table that you saw in the previous knowledge area. We would spend some time on this table to understand the relationship between the processes in this particular knowledge area and the correlation with the other processes from other knowledge area. As we said earlier, we start a project with a contract and a SOW that comes along with the contract. The very first document that we create in project management lifecycle is the project charter. Once the charter is created, as part of the initiation process group, we identify all the stakeholders. Next, as we enter the planning process group, the first thing that we do is that we start creating a scope management plan. This is a subset of the project management plan as we discussed in the project integration management knowledge area. Once we have created the scope management plan, then our next step is to collect requirements from these stakeholders. Once we have collected all the requirements, we validate those requirements against the project charter and come up with a detailed project scope statement. This is done as part of define scope process. Once we have a subjective document, like the project scope statement, we would break the scope into smaller and more manageable work components, called work packages. The process of breaking down the project scope into small work packages is called create w. Thank you for watching this video. You were watching a short snippet of the full length videos. Please visit our website www dot whizlabs dot com to view the full videos and take a sample practice test. You can also contact us by any of the following means. All the best.